Good morning. <laughs> Efficient bureaucracy. There is the countdown clock, okay. of course. Uh, as Commissioner Cameron Novella just said earlier on, approximately one third of international tourism flows to the Mediterranean. This makes the Met region taking into consideration both its northern and southern shores, the world's principal tourism destination. Tourism plays a vital role in the economies of the countries within the Med region, acting as a source of growth and generator of jobs. Looking at the southern half of the Mediterranean, we see that tourism is characterized by a strong dependence of European sources which on average account for approximately 60% of international arrivals. Any discussions about MET tourism nowadays will, of necessity, be overshadowed by geopolitical and security considerations. These are dominating our agenda both as government and private citizens. However, this is the reality in which we are adapting to. This is the environment within which our respective tourism industries have to operate and compete. These are the challenges we face as destinations and which we together strive to overcome. There is no doubt that tourism will also be affected by the recent terrorism events. The Med region and in particular those countries that are perceived to be more vulnerable to terrorism because of their location will most probably feel the effects more than others. The terror attacks on Paris and more recently in Brussels have also altered the security landscape dramatically. The subsequent heightening of the state of alert induced by the risk of further terrorist threats also means that Europe's own open border Schengen procedures are, out, are now actually under the spotlight too. These developments represent some of the toughest challenges we are facing today. Nevertheless, I am confident that with the cooperation of all those involved, the tourism industry will once again prove its resilience and overcome these obstacles. The Mediterranean operates within a highly competitive environment and effective product differentiation strategies should be a critical consideration for countries in the region. These will not only influence the consumer's choice of destination, but will, in the longer term, also enhance the aggregate value of the region's offer. This will be important in countering the increasing competition that the Mediterranean is facing from other world regions, especially as a result of the growth in the so-called low-cost and affordable transport, together to more efficient and effective online distribution channels mentioned as well earlier on. Such strategies depend upon the delivery of the value to the tourist, and this means that quality in terms of the product offered and services provided must be given paramount importance. Med destinations also boast of a magnificent cultural heritage. This is an avenue that can deliver a significant boost to differentiation for destinations and indeed for the Med region as a whole. Tourism in the Mediterranean holds significant opportunities to enhance competitiveness. Governments have a specific and pivotal role in fostering a climate which is conducive to innovation and, most importantly, investment along the entire value chain of the, of the tourism industry. This approach can be adopted towards enhancing differ differentiation also at a micro level. Back to Malta, the Maltese tourism industry's competitiveness has been a major priority for us. I realized early in the day, due to long-term planning and our ability to garner the country's energy, 
energies and resources towards, towards set object, objectives would be the best route to success. Our first step was to formulate and launch a national tourism policy framework for the years 2015 to 2020. This document treats tourism holistically and sets clear priority areas, which guide us policymakers while we, we ensure that we remain on track. Since then, we have embarked on a program we had, which has focused on two courses, two basic courses of action. Maximizing air connectivity and further expanding on your routes. Point number two, stabilize the, price, the prices of energy sources, a major overhead for the tourism industry. This led to improved profitability for operators in the sector and provided the disposable income for reinvestment in the product, especially hotels. We believe that constant close collaboration between government and industry stakeholders continues to be an important, or the most important, I must say, success factor. Just recently, we partnered with the Malta Hotels and Restaurants Association to set up the Mediterranean Tourism Foundation, the remit of which extends to collaboration with other MET countries. We strongly believe in this initiative and government's financial contribution towards the foundation was made in recognition of the latter's commitment to promote Malta as a leader in the Mediterranean region, also using tourism as an important vehicle for peace and political stability. As many Mediterranean destinations are already aware, the increase in tourism flows to the region puts considerable pressure on our natural and cultural assets. These pressures can take the form of energy and carbon emissions, increased water consumption, waste management, and the loss of biological diversity. These are issues which hit at the very heart of the quality of life of our local communities and which are affecting all MET destinations to various different degrees. The rise in environmental awareness amongst consumers is reflected in the choices and preferences of an increasing number of international travelers. It would therefore be unthinkable in this day and age for destinations not to have in place and update policies that ensure the sustainability of tourism activity. Planning for sustainable tourism can be fundamental in coping with the challenges of modern tourism, minimizing impacts and ensuring long-term returns for the tourism destination. All this is within the long-term context of enabling multiple reuse of scarce resources by future generations. I refer to the recent signing of the Paris Agreement regarding climate change, signed by our Prime Minister, Dr. Joseph Muscat, at the UN headquarters in New York. I believe this historical signing is an opportunity to accelerate the process for the coming into force of this agreement. Sharing experiences on this level can be an important element of collaboration required between MED destinations towards the greening of the tourism industry and to ensure the preservation of one of the world's major tourism resources by ensuring a resilient and sustainable future for tourism in the Mediterranean region. To conclude, competitiveness, sustainability, and ultimately growth are clearly the key components for our success. We need to remain firmly focused on these three pillars in order to ensure continued prosperity in tourism. This is the only manner in which we can ensure the creation of careers rather than simply jobs, and that economic benefits generated from tourism will be enjoyed by all. Thank you for your attention.